Swimsuit model Mike Toy fighter Mia Kang considering competing in the MMA. We see this all the time that a lot of people, a lot of fighters, women and men think that they can make a transition over to mixed martial arts or the UFC. In this SI swimsuit model, Mia Kang's case, I think she can mm. because she has been training in Muay Thai and seems to have the right mentality about doing it. It's not like, hey, I want to fight, let's give me a fight. Yeah. Which is a lot of the times the case. And a lot of the times, a promotion like the UFC would be like, model, Dana White thinking, uh, what, what, give her a fight today. Uh, we see it with CM Punk thinking he could do it. Oh, I'm a WWE fighter, I'm in good shape. He could not do it. And we've seen some people that could do it, like Brock Lesnar, minus the steroids. Uh, two quotes from me at Kang Francis. This is both on uh, uh, Ariel Hawani's hour long MMA hour with. Mia Kang, which I thought was very interesting because as he even said, I'm used to talking to people with a lot of testosterone. This yeah. is a breath of fresh air. Uh, she said on the MMA Hour that she's very much considering fighting in MMA and has even hired top manager Malki Kawa, who reps the likes of John Jones and Tyron Woodley, so his hands are full to represent her. Uh, yes, absolutely is what her quote was, and then she continued to say later on. She said when she was talking about how being a model, she used to be overweight as a kid and she looked at models and wanting to be that way. She said she's been everything from a size 14 to a size zero and thinks that, of course, like a lot of models, it can be stereotyped to being just a pretty face. Mm -hmm. She said, I really gave, it gave me the confidence to come back to New York and come back to the fashion industry and the modeling world. And I'm not going to conform to your standards anymore. I'm not going to starve myself and be insecure about myself because I'm trying to fit into a size zero pair of jeans. I'm not going to do that anymore. I found health, confidence, happiness through this sport, Muay Thai, and through everything. It's who I am. It's the kind of woman we need in our magazines. And this is the kind of role model we need for, a kid, uh, for our kids. Uh, she said, I've been 14 looking through these magazines saying, why don't I look like that? You don't have to. Yeah, um, and I think it's good. I think that for one, she's yeah, she's good looking. Yes, so yeah, that, so I don't. Let's put the obvious on the table. Uh, Dana White obviously licking his lips if she wants if she to does make, take if it she wants to go to the UFC and take it serious because there's a reason why I'm blanking on the name, but Jason Rubin, my trusty Page colleague Van Zandt. on the left, is going to say Paige Van Zandt, uh, talented fighter. Yeah, not taking anything away with it. Placed on every front headline because. She was uh, attractive to an audience that wanted to come in not only to see their favorite thing in the world, which would be fighting, but also see women. God, I do follow her Instagram. Uh, fighting as well. Yeah, so that's not something that's either sexist or anything else. So whatever way you want to spin it, you're making no sense because I'm just stating what's in front of you. Mm. Ronda Rousey, the face of the UFC for quite some time, um, also because she's so talented and was dominant for a while, still captured the headlines because she's so charismatic and a very easy on the eye to a lot of people as well. And when you see the the replacement to her is at the moment a phenomenally gifted fighter. Who? Who just destroyed her in uh, her- Oh, Amanda, uh, yeah, yeah, Amanda, Amanda Nunes. Nunes. But not anywhere near as glorified, unfortunately. Um, of course uh, not. Because it's, it's not that that captivating, uh, maybe not, doesn't fit the stereotypical you know outlook as to what uh, Dana White will want to be the, what is this? Ronda Rousey's newest gig. Oh, Battle of the Network stuff. She's yeah. hosting a show that was on, uh, on ABC. She has a network ABC yeah. show, a 10 episode series. So just to show you like Ronda Rousey yeah. was able to take her UFC stardom and then just say, I don't need anyone. Yeah. I don't think she's coming back to you. Anyway, Sorry, to, to, go to back bring to it full circle, Kang. yeah, uh, Dana White would love to have a former swimsuit model come into the MMA and compete. Now, let's not undermine the the sheer technique and skill that it takes to perform at this level, whether it's in the men's UFC or in the women's UFC. Uh, you have to be a phenomenally gifted fighter and athlete to basically not get destroyed. Uh, you're gonna be coming up against fighters like, as we mentioned, Amanda Nunes, who's probably the most dangerous woman in the world. Joanna Jajetrick. Joanna, Joanna Jajetrick. Caroline uh, Kowalczyk. Yes, who we watched oh, as well. Oh, is Baby Crew giving us the wrap, the wrap up sign? sign. <laughs> Let's just say that if it is to be that transition, yeah, the, the determination and the focus that, that uh, models have, I often give it more credit than people say, I don't just models, but they have to be very determined. They have to uh, follow a strict guideline in order to be the best at what they do. But some of that's gonna transition over to fighting, but it's gonna take a lot more. It's gonna take the stuff that you don't see in the aesthetic, the heart, I mean, I the don't technique, all that stuff. I do think that 
modeling is not as easy as smile, take a photo. I do think the rigors of training for a mixed martial arts event is tenfold, if not a hundredfold more difficult. Just make, just clarifying. Um, I also think of what Derek Zoolander has done for male modeling. A lot of the time when I think of modeling. It's the same look. What do you mean, Derek? We teach kids how to style their hair in cool ways. <laughs> you might not think I know what a yugugali is, <laughs> but I do. So why male models? Are you serious, Derek? <laughs> Literally just explain that whole thing. Right, right. All, All right. right, well, yeah, so we've probably been below, below. Comment below. Comment below. Let us know what you think of all stories. Uh, hit us up on Twitter, all the good stuff, social media. Peace out.